Welcome to Consignable, the premier app designed to help the Clover point-of-sale stations fit into your consignment store's business model. Consignable is a web app, which means it doesn't install like some apps and must be accessed through the web dashboard. To get started, open your web dashboard from your Clover station or a PC. Depending on what apps you have installed, your screen will differ from this one slightly, but you should see the app market icon. Click there and search for Consignable. In the search results, click on Install and verify the permissions are acceptable, then click Accept and Install. You should immediately be redirected to the consignable site, where the first step is to set up your store. These are general settings that will apply to everyone unless you override them for specific cases. Set the margin value to reflect your most commonly used commission structure, then click on the green Save icon in the top right. To return to the settings, click on your store's name in the top right and choose Settings from the drop-down menu. Again, these settings can be overridden on a vendor-by-vendor -vendor basis. The next step is to set up a vendor or consigner. Click on the green Add Vendor button to get started. The two fields in red are the only required fields. The Category field is how the Clover point-of-sale system will keep track of inventory and how Consignable will know when you've made changes to your inventory. Your store may already be using a labeling convention, such as Stall 17 or Vendor 9, or maybe some form of a brand name. We'll use Stall 32 for our example. There are some additional fields available here. You can specify if you want the vendor to start out by owing a prorated portion of rent, for example, or even set a margin that's specific to this vendor. Once you've clicked on the Save button in the top right corner, Consignable will make a couple of changes to your Clover system. To see what happened, return to the web dashboard and click on your inventory app. The first place we'll look is Categories. Here you should see a new category based on the name provided in the Category field. And as you can see, we have a Stall32 category. Back in Consignable, the category name is the same here. Additionally, the Clover ID field will also match the ID in the Clover inventory module. This will need to stay synchronized. Now if we go to items, you'll see a new item using that same name for miscellaneous transactions. Our Clover inventory now contains the item Stall32 MISC item, which is a variable priced item. This is all you need to get started. You can certainly add more items to inventory, which Consignable can help you with, or you can run all your transactions through this single item and use custom modifiers to add details to your receipts. You are ready to start taking advantage of Consignable. Want to have more specific inventory items? You can add them quickly in Consignable by clicking on Inventory and then click Add One. You may already have items in your inventory, so you can open those items in the Clover Inventory tool and add the Stall32 category to them. Clover will forward these changes to Consignable and we will add them to our store for proper reporting. Thanks for your time and stay tuned for more videos.